Hello and welcome to the OrCAD Capture Constraint Manager series. This video will show you how to generate a netlist and begin a new board layout using the OrCAD Capture tool. The netlist files hold all the necessary information about the parts and how they are connected in the schematic. This data is essential for initiating the board layout process. To generate a netlist, you can choose the Tools menu option and then click on Create Netlist or simply click on the Netlist icon from the toolbar. This will open up the Create Netlist window. Next, click on the PCB tab and select Create PCB Editor Netlist by marking the checkbox. Then, click on the Setup and find the Allegro.cfg configuration file, which is used to customize the transfer of properties between or CAD Capture and Allegro PCB Editor. Be sure to specify the directory where the netlist files will be stored. By default, they will be saved in the Allegro folder within the current project. Once you're done, click OK to generate the netlist files and select Yes to create an Allegro directory. The netlist files have been generated successfully, along with a log file that appears on the screen. Suppose there are any errors in the schematic during the process of generating the netlist. In that case, the netlist won't be created, and error messages will be sent to the session log window. A netlist.log file will be written in the current working directory, and you can view the netlist files with the Notepad application. After generating the netlist, the next step is to create a new board layout. To do this, select the PCB and click on New Layout. A dialog box called New Layout will appear. It will load an or CAD capture netlist into a board file initializing the process of creating a new PCB layout. To specify the netlist folder for your PCB layout, go to the PCB layout folder field. By default, this field will be set to the Allegro folder within your current project. You can choose your company standard design template file in the input board file field or keep it empty to load the default tool template. Once you've chosen your template, the netlist and input board files will be processed, resulting in a newly saved board.brd file. The board field specifies the name and location of the new board file. By default, the new board file is saved in the Allegro folder of the current project, and the board file name is the same as the schematic design name. To import the netlist and launch the new board file, click OK. Once you click OK, a pop-up will appear with Cadence product choices. From there, Select the desired product license and check the Use as Default box to save it for future use. Finally, click OK to open the PCB Editor tool. That's all the time we have now for this video. Thanks for watching.